turn on the power now. Hey guys, this is going to be a live com zombie match. Uh, I'll be showing you some hints, tricks, tips, path, guns, perks, and more for Zombies Black Ops, Kino, and some other maps you, wanna, you might want to know about. First things first, go ahead and buy uh, your revive if you're playing on solo, or don't if you're playing on multiplayer. On the first round, you actually want to shoot these guys a couple times until you get two bullets left, which I believe is six shots. Then knife them. This is because you'll get a few more points, 60 more points, instead of the basic 130 from you get from knifing. But you do still want to have your knife ready. Because you get 130 points per knife you kill, and only 50 points per pistol kill. It's not a headshot. Careful, do not shoot them in the head right now. I know it's strange, don't shoot them in the head. The reason Why is you want to get so as many points now? as possible out of them. So you actually want to shoot them six times and knife them. If you shoot them in the head, I'm not sure what the headshot multiplier is for a pistol. So you'll probably kill them if you end up shooting them six times. I, I know you will. I've done it before. You just want to get as many points as possible in the first beginning rounds. Because you want to get the crap out of here as fast as you can. This is a pattern to be stuck in. Second round, you're going to shoot a full clip into him. Not the head, just the body. And then knife. So one knife after you shoot a clip into him. If you got a window like this where you got three or four people coming in at once, just shoot two clips. They're scattered. That way you know you're going to hit them. But you know you're not going to put all the bullets into one person. You know how to say owned in Russian? See, and then you usually get still one knife kills on the people you shot very helpful. Oh, I shot him in the head. Either that or I shot him before. Double points. Remember, clip, knife. You get 260 points per kill with a double score on. So you make, want to make sure you get those 260 points. That's going to get you out of this room a lot faster. Round two, I already have 3,000. Haven't even repaired the windows yet. I did get a max ammo. Normally, you can't actually burn your clips like this. Uh, round three, this their health is still doubling, so you want to shoot two full clips into them if you can, or you can just knife them three times. It doesn't matter. Seriously, it does not matter on that. Why am I always needing more ammo? I like it rough, but not that rough. This is gonna be fun. Don't ever forget Instead about your grenades. Again. One, oh, two, ammo. three. Almost a fourth so pick is a perfect now. time to Would throw you your grenades. Because ah, it'll, it'll usually explode or whatever you want it to if you aim it the right way. It'll get you a lot more points than, uh. Well, grenades don't get you that many points. My bad. I'm out of ammo. One, Maybe two, I should just drink three. Instead. Throw. On someone. Look at my points. Did you see that? To you, Demon Spawn. Plus, I'm still alive with no ammo. Die by the hand of Nikolai. Hey, as soon as you get an instant kill on one of the lower levels, just knife him to death. 130 points is a lot better. I like to leave hey, this room the at the end of level 3. End of level 3 is a really nice time to leave. You get 2 grenades per round, so don't worry about wasting your grenades. See? I had 2, now I have 4. This is nice and light. This is the best gun in the game, in my opinion. It is the MP40, for those of you who don't know. I don't like it because of the fire rate or my power behind it, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. But I like it because of the placement. Look where it's at. It's right there, in case you don't know. As soon as you're running down these stairs and you need an ammo, you just jump, jump over any zombies that's in your way, if there are any grab the ammo and keep going you don't even need to stop it's a really helpful place for put a gun and thank you Treyarch for actually putting a gun in a good place I got a tranquil on these stairs I don't know take care of that there we go I end up breaking a lot of my own rules that doesn't mean you should break them it's just that I can't stick to my own rules 
as soon as you get above level five, I don't recommend knifing unless you have a Bowie knife. Which addressing the Bowie knife, the Bowie knife is very helpful. If you're still, if you're a knife fanatic and you have Juggernaut, if you, Juggernaut is always first. If you have enough points, get the. Oh, God dang it. Uh, anyway, if you get trolled by Treyarch and you get a nuke at the end of a round like this or an instant kill, watch. I'm actually kind of glad I got this so I can show you. Watch. It'll start to blink. Why It'll start to no blink really fast in a minute. You want to get it when it's blinking extremely fast. Just watch. See, it's blinking, 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 blinking. Get it. It's going to kill the majority of your zombies. Or get it whenever you need it, too. That's a big thing. Whenever you need it. If you need it before it starts blinking that fast, get it. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to wait till they get a little bit closer. That never happens to me. I don't know why that just happened. That was pretty cool. It's an easy way to get cash, so I'm fine with it. 400 points in this round is actually pretty good. A common question I get, yes, double points does double the points from a nuke. You normally get 400, if you have a double points up, you will get 800. Open both these doors, never get stuck in that uh, dressing room. Dog round, time for me to address the glitch on dogs. It's on both sides, this one and that one. You're gonna want to, oh crap, get on this little wooden piece, either one of these wooden pieces. Line yourself up so you're on the edge of the wooden piece. And the dogs, if you do it right, will look at you and not attack you like they just did to me. I screwed up. There's another one on this side. Same same thing. And if you do it right, just like that, they'll just look at you. See, let me, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm on the edge of this, in between the two chairs. And then you can just sit here and kill them. Uh, I got fur in my mouth. Extremely helpful, I think. Especially if you don't have Is enough ammo like I don't. Oh, ammo! Always no keep a clip if you can you. for max ammo. Conserve your bullets. Get some headshots on these doggies. They deserve it. Keep your max ammo though. If you got thirty, if you got a thirty-two round clip, make sure you got thirty-two rounds in the clip. It's like that before you get your max ammo. Max ammo. I'm gonna go get Juggernaut. It is happy hour. Reload both your weapons as soon as you get it. Give me Juggernaut. There we go. Reach for what Careful whenever you're using Juggernaut because the effect doesn't actually kick in until you burp. Anyway, the first path I'm going to show you guys is, I call it, upper stage. Here we go. You want to wait till the zombies get close enough? I'll show you two ways to run this one. This is the way I like to run it. But I know other people who claim there's another way to do it, and I'll show that to you in a minute. I forgot to link the teleporter. I'll do that next lap or, you know, after this round. I'll just do it after this round. Doesn't matter. You want to wait till you get a little bit of a train on you. That way, you know, every bullet counts for three hits instead of one. Watch out here. You'll get trapped if you're not careful. Just like that, you have to run in between the zombies. Juke them to one side, then go in between where you, the gap you just made. That was uh, just a panic. <laughs> I'm still using my pistol. I know. I'm wanting to. About turning on the power, I hear a lot of people say, leave it off. I don't know why you say this. The crawlers are your friends. They help you kill the zombies. They're not hurtful at all. They crawl. They're slow. Look at them. How slow they are. Look at this one. Careful. They will cut through the middle. Zombies may be dumb, but they're pretty smart. If that made sense to you. If that made sense to you, you're in trouble. See, watch them. Boom, right through the middle. Here, let me show you. Oh, my pistol's finally out of ammo. Let me show you why these guys are your friends. Watch it. I'm only gonna kill one. See him? He died. Watch this. 
He killed about five bigger zombies. Very, very helpful on higher levels because they always kill the bigger zombies. And they only have 70% of the health that the bigger zombies have. Uh, there was a reason I had to run around. I was showing you how to use these guys and I got kind of entertained in it. Sometimes, you gotta watch the explosion rate though because sometimes they'll explode really fast and you'll get caught in it. And sometimes they'll explode really slow and all the zombies will be gone by the time they explode. It's kind of stupid. But whatever, watch, watch. You see that? You see how many it just killed? I'm telling you, these guys are your friends. You want them here. But whenever I come back around, look at this. One, two, three from one crawler. Let me headshot these guys real fast. Die now, son of bitch! I'm just getting points up right now. I got an instant kill, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a grenade. Three, four throw boom. Die, Satan's minions! I like the animation whenever you hit someone with a grenade on instant kill. It's funny. Their head flies off. Even if you hit them with a the the grenade. These guys don't explode if you uh, stab them. So even though they're helpful, if you don't want them to explode, stab them. I'm going to buy my claymores so I can show you places to put your claymores. If you're going to run upper stage, put them right here. Just stack them all around this wall or wherever you want to stack them. Maybe I should just drink instead. I'm going to show you upper stage for one more level just to make sure, just to show you that it does indeed work. I'm also going to show you why people actually do stack their claymores later. It's a very neat trick. I'm going to show you how to do it. Sorry, I was trying to, you know, messing around with my... It's that clicking again! Oh, trying ammo. One. You get a zombie doing that and he wants to eat you, run around. I mean, there's no reason to sit there and let him hit you. It's like I just did. I'm gonna kill some of these guys. I'm gonna do it with a. This is why people use claymore, so I can run by, pick up the claymore, that's why they put it in a convenient spot, and pop it in a place where it's gonna do the most damage. Make it where it's, make it where they have to pass the claymore before it blows up, like this. It kills you more. Dead before. Ah, fuck but you. this is because if you don't have any ammo in higher rounds or something, you can run by and grab a claymore and put it in a place you know there's gonna be a lot of traffic. So you're dead now. And it'll but kill you're a lot for you. Ah, fuck you. And you don't have to worry about and you don't have to worry about conserving your ammo or anything like that. If you have a ray gun thunder gun combination, it's really nice to get all your claymores out of the way before you start blowing them up with a ray gun. Killing that ammo. Or you blow them up with a thunder gun. When did I run out of ammo? Anyway. I'm gonna show you without the crawlers this time. I'm not gonna use my I'm not gonna try to use any crawlers anyway. What I do with a uh block mach uh, I don't know what this thing's qualified as. It's an MP forty, whatever. I like to hold down the trigger and tap L one. And that way I jump to different people. Without, you know, actually having to move around, I just jump. Yeah, you know, if I'm going for headshots, I'll hold it in and back up like that. But right now I'm just doing you points. So I want to get as many hits on these guys as possible. Just like that. You just like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. ADS, ADS out, ADS in, ADS out. It's just just a balance. However you like to do it, whatever speed you like to do it, doesn't really matter. Headshots are always nice. See, see, see how long it took him to blow up. Sometimes it takes him a long time. Sometimes it doesn't. If you get a train of crawlers, this trick I'm about to show you is really helpful because their heads are always there. What is that? Max ammo, nice. Um, their heads are always like at their body, so then you're gonna autom auto aim at their chest, so you can hit their heads pretty easily. All right, here's the trick I'll show you. I gotta Just find the big zombie again. Order. 